We here at the Big Phone Store would like to issue an apology. Due to our name being the Big Phone Store, we have misled you into thinking that's our whole gimmick. I, as a spokesperson for the company, would like to say that is not the case. We also sell laptops, MacBooks, and desktops. And if you thought that was surprising, then you're easily impressed. But here are five surprisingly interesting facts that will make you go, at the very least, hmm. Number one, heavy beginnings. One of the first computers named ENIAC, or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, was the first programmable general purpose electronic digital computer, taking up 1,800 square feet of space and weighing more than 27 tons, which is the equivalent of four elephants in a slightly smaller regulation tennis court. ENIAC was built during World War II for the purposes of computing values for artillery range tables. It used plug boards for communicating instructions to the machine and generated 174 kilowatts of heat. That's 329,840 degrees Celsius per hour. The US government had spent $400,000 on ENIAC and a part of her is on exhibit in Washington. There she is. 300k Celsius, it must be a sauna in there. Number two, once I've said this fact, you're gonna be aware of blinking for a while. Sorry, there's nothing better than just zoning out whilst watching your favorite Netflix series, is there? But oh my God, still blink, damn it, what's wrong with you? The average person blinks 20 times a minute under normal circumstances, but while on a computer, that gets shortened to seven times a minute. And now that I've said that, you're probably thinking about your blinking, so. Sorry again. When we blink, we spread tears evenly over our eyes, which keeps them from getting dry and irritated. But we tend not to do that when we're looking at computers because our eyes are trying to figure out what we're even looking at. Our focusing system is always in a state of trying to find exactly where the pixels are on our computer. It's like our eyes are going, blink and you'll miss it. This all contributes to eye strain and to avoid that just <gasps> Make sure your computer screen is about an arm's length away from you. Every 20 minutes, look at an object 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds, take a break of about 15 minutes every two hours you spend on your device, and have auto brightness on to help with your eye comfort. <sighs> or don't do any of those things and get a headache. Number three, put in the Giga and Gigabyte. 32 gigabytes is a small amount of storage space for devices these days. But did you know the first gigabyte drive cost $40,000? In 1980, the IBM 3380 was the world's first gigabyte capacity disk drive. Two 1.26 gigabyte head disk assemblies were packed in a cabinet the size of a fridge and weighs 455 kilograms, which is about as heavy as a grand piano. You need a moving van to make that a portable drive. Number four. <laughs> Computer viruses are nasty things. But did you know 70% of virus writers work for organized crime syndicates? I don't know why, but I feel like Batman would be really useless at this threat. <laughs> Stop, karma, hacking, karma, me. And all the hackers that make these viruses on average make about 6,000 new viruses each month. 6,000 viruses is pretty scary, considering how much damage only one can do. One of the most infamous viruses that got made was my doom, and it made a staggering $38.5 million worth of damage when it got released in January of 2006. So make sure you have the latest antivirus software installed on your computer because, again, Batman ain't gonna do anything. Wait, now that's done. My long lost third cousin twice removed needs to borrow some money. Fear not, John Johnson. Batman shall save you. <laughs> and finally, our final fact. Number five. Ada's algorithms. Ada Lovelace, who worked as a mathematician and writer in jolly old England, was famous for working on the analytical engine. The analytical engine was an invention designed by Charles Babbage in 1837 that essentially was the first computer. Sorry, ENIAC. However, ENIAC takes the title of the first computer because the analytical engine never came to be. Due to conflicts with Babbage's chief engineer and inadequate funding, it wasn't until 1941, 100 plus years after the design of it, was it finally made by Mr. Conrad Zeus, naming the machine the Z3. But what was Ada's part in all of this? In 1842, Ada was commissioned to translate a French transcript of one of Babbage's lectures into English, adding her own section of notes. Ada's notes on Babbage's computing machine ended up being bigger than the transcript itself. Within these pages of notes, Ada made history. She wrote an algorithm for the analytical engine to compute the Nuli numbers, these complicated things. 
However, these complicated things made her notes the first published algorithm ever specifically tailored for implementation on a computer. Or in other words, the first computer program. But again, due to the analytical engine never being made, the program never had the opportunity to be tested. Her ideas were too pioneering for their own good, which is pretty incredible when you think about it. With the technology she had at the time, she paved the way for the future without even knowing it or seeing it play out today. To that we say bravo Ada, bravo to antivirus software, bravo to cheap hard drive space, bravo to blinking, and bravo to computers. And sure, bravo to Batman. I'm broke. Okay, maybe not. So thanks for watching, I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you on the next one.